Let me give everybody an update on impeachment. Senate Republicans are eyeing a quick acquittal of President Trump that could have the trial wrap as soon as Friday. If GOP senators are able to defeat an effort on Friday to call witnesses or compel new documents, Republicans are signaling they can move quickly to, fi to the final votes on acquittal. Senator John Barrasso, a Republican of Wyoming, said he expects senators will move quickly to an acquittal vote. That's the plan, the number three GOP senator told reporters and asked if Republicans would move directly to acquittal if the witness vote fails. Senator Lindsey Graham, uh, during an interview on Fox News, said that the president will be acquitted and I think it will be this week. So that's it. That's it. It's over. <laughs> Congratulations, Democrats. How'd that feel? Did it feel good? How'd that go? Oh, it was an abysmal failure. Oh, wow. If only uh, there were people who predicted that. Not just people on the right, but good faith people on the left who said, it ain't gonna work. There were only a few of them, and I think you know where to find them. So that's it. That's it. It's all what it comes to. Now, I've tried to follow some of the impeachment stuff, the actual hearing. It's so beyond insufferable that I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Everything is like the Democrats with their grandstanding and acting. The fate of the Republic. It's, uh, the fate of the Republic. Yes. <laughs> Everything is melodramatic and ridiculous. And it, so much of it. They spoke about Russia. Adam Schiff kept talking about Russia. And it's like, wait, I thought that the Mueller report actually came back and they didn't do anything to Trump. They didn't say, we're indicting him over X, Y. They didn't do that. They didn't prove anything. That's right. That is what the Mueller report found. Adam Schiff couldn't get over it. And so he keeps referencing Russia stuff in this uh, impeachment, which is nominally about Ukraine and about Trump abusing his authority by trying to get an investigation into Biden from the Ukrainian uh, government and holding over their head the subsidy that we give them. So uh, listen, the Democrats botched this in a thousand different ways. And this is all it comes down to. That's it. By the way, what did I tell you? When impeachment passed the House, 55% uh, approval rating to impeach and remove Trump. And it went up. Why? Because the Democrats won in the House. So when you win, your numbers tend to go up. So, but then what did I tell you? Now, when you go to the Senate, it's going to fall. Guess what happened? It fell. Support went from 55%. Now it's 50%. 50% support... Uh, impeaching and removing a drop of five points from right after impeachment passed the house and guess what when trump gets acquitted his numbers will go up more it'll go from uh you know the 50 percent that support impeaching and removing him it's going to drop to maybe 45 percent that support impeaching and removing him which means the majority will be uh against impeachment because when you win the numbers go in your direction it happened with bill clinton it's going to happen with donald trump so all this noise, all this time, all this energy, and you're going to increase his approval rating and make it more likely he wins in 2020. Congratulations on being the dumbest fucking people on the planet. It's just so dumb. Even if you were to believe in impeachment and want to do something in the realm of impeachment, okay. But pick something substantive where even if you lose, at least you made such a strong argument to the public that the numbers stay more in your favor. So in other words, if you made this whole thing about emoluments corruption, I think it's possible that you could have held over 50% of the country saying, yes, he should be impeached and removed. Because those arguments are way more powerful than fear-mongering about Russia and naughty phone calls. Um, and that's an important point. If you make it over genocide in Yemen, I think that the facts of that are so horrific that people would lean more in support of impeaching him. Anybody who's convincible would be convinced. And so you'd have, you know, maybe 55%, and it would stay at 55% of the country that supports impeaching, even if Trump were acquitted. But now it's a situation where your arguments are weak as fuck, and Trump is going to be acquitted, so the polls are going to swing right back in his direction, and all this was for nothing. And then the other hilarious thing to me is, both sides are still silly in that they don't realize the political implications. So the Republicans are like, no uh, witnesses. I don't want any witnesses. I don't want to drag this thing out. And the Democrats are like, no, let's drag this thing out. Guys, the more this thing happens, the more things swing in favor of Trump. So, you know, in a world that made sense, 
the Democrats would be like, let's just get this shit over with and, you know, no witnesses. We don't want any witnesses. And the Republicans would be like, no, seriously, call witnesses. We want more. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Come to Papa. This is helping us. Go ahead, call. I, hey, let's talk to Hunter Biden. Let's talk to Hunter Biden. Let's talk to Joe Biden. Let's call witnesses. Let's do it. <laughs> so it's funny how the Democrats want to do the thing that's going to hurt them and the Republicans want to do the thing that's going to hurt them or not help them more. I think the more witnesses they call, the better it is for Republicans, to be honest. So, um, But anyway, see, this is what it all comes to. And I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you. I predicted the Mueller report exactly right. Now I, I'm, I've predicted impeachment right. And it's funny because any kind of deviation from the standard commentary on this, you're immediately like, you know, dismissed as like a Trump apologist or something. And my whole argument all along is, no, it's going to help him. So who's the real Trump apologist here? The people who are arguing for impeachment on these weak ass grounds, you're the ones who are going to help them. So they accuse you of what they're guilty of. It's just, it's so frustrating. It's so mind numbing. And it's blind leading the blind. You think Democratic leadership knows what they're doing? Are you kidding me? They have no idea what they're doing. And the Republicans are just lucky that their opponents happen to be the dumbest people on the planet strategically. So, here we are. All this noise, and it ends with a whimper. That's what this is. Just a couple of articles that are like, yeah, this might be over Friday. By the way, even if it's not over Friday, it'll still be over soon. And, um, you know. When that happens, oh my god, Twitter is going to be so annoying. You're going to have these, like, self-righteous resistance people who are, like, you know, shocked about it and angry at the Republicans. And it's like, uh, how did you not know this was coming? How did you botch it this bad? Why are you so ridiculous? And their reaction will be even more ridiculous than everything so far. Twitter will act like, the fate of the republic is how that, because the republican circle the wagons around a terrible, terrible dictator of a man. They're going to act like, you know, this is it? This is how it ends? This is how it ends? I can't believe the republicans did this. I can! I can! I can! And I told you all along they were going to do it, and you didn't listen, and now you're going to help them. Congratulations.